Right, I'm sorry. It almost looks like retro hip hop, you know? Which I'm happy with. I'm sorry! <laughs> Don't... Yoshida? Oh, you're welcome, man. Oh my god, don't... Dude. Oh my god. Oh, this is the best state of play ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the best state of play ever. Okay. Is this going to be a five minute trailer? <laughs> Dude, I can't believe we get to see all this shit at the same time. How much different is it going to look? It's been two years, dude. Who are we? What are the dominance? The power we wield, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. Oh, it's looking pretty. Oh, it's looking pretty the good. Icon. If this is in game, I don't know if it is. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Every day. Delay brings us oh Jesus to Christ! It looks we significantly look better. Oh, oh fuck! The chaos you would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh my God! They have to stagger, literally like FF7. Night, the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife. Jesus, Jesus Christ, dude. Uh If I take the field, I'll uh, shake the island to its foundations. Holy shit. This is a big fucking summon. Three hundred and thirty thousand damage. Oh my god, Garda looks ridiculous. Oh, that limb flail. Oh, Jesus Christ. It is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Oh my god, I love it how it's summon focused. <laughs> when is it coming out, dude? Do we have to wait another year? A whole oh, other year? Child. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to visit PlayStation Blog to learn even more about today's announcements. See you next time. Man, I was joking, man. Dude, I was joking, man. I'm sorry, chat. That was my fault. I was joking. I, I was, I was definitely, I am sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. That means that 7 Remake Part 2 is gonna be even, like, further away. Uh shit. <laughs> I don't like being a prophet anymore. I don't like it. It sucks. Oh, this is a 30 FPS trailer, isn't it? It breaks us. It unmakes us. Damn it, it is. But its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. 
going to be another war, isn't there? I love the, the huge emphasis on summons. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Jesus. Jesus. The, would reek would sweep all of the goddamn there. combat. Air combos, bitch. Jesus, FF7 remake and FF13 stagger function comes back. Good lord, dude. So, uh, so hang on a second. Okay, I won't pause it. I'm sorry, I won't pause it. We're just gonna let it rock. And then, and then we're gonna go back and evaluate, because there's a lot of mechanical stuff and interesting UI shit happening there. Shake the island to its foundations. This shit's gonna be so goddamn epic. I'm just so sad that it doesn't come out for a year. I was so wrong, man. I thought this was gonna come out in August. I was very- I was off by one year. This dismemberment looks sick. Losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Oh, I just realized they're singing the names of the summons in the background. Good timing. Awaken, Thank you. Child of fate. Awaken if breathed. This is the biggest bummer of the whole thing, man. I still cannot. I still cannot. That is the the that to the stage of history. God damn it, man. We really thought that we were close to this thing being out. It's unfortunate that Final Fantasy 16 once again just gets dropped into the puddle of Square Enix games that were announced way too goddamn early. Here's an interesting observation. Every single thing we've seen of gameplay for this game, let me actually make myself smaller so you can see. Every single thing we've seen gameplay-wise for Final Fantasy 16 is, is, is the player playing Clive, right? And I'm trying to find, I'm trying to see if there's any, like, room for other party members and stuff like that. Look at this crazy, there's like some insane swapping thing happening right now. There's like some ridiculous, like, you're swapping between stuff, but you're still playing as one dude. You're like getting the power of Odin or, you know, something like that. There's like, there was an Odin gauge. Look at that shit. There's an Odin gauge. I'm, I'm covering that fucking, I'm gonna move myself over here. Uh, there's literally an Odin gauge that is building up as he's smacking dudes around. It's specifically like a character action game and you change your character in between summons abilities, right? You essentially are like blue maging between all the summons and their gimmicks and stuff. Yeah, in the same way that Devil May Cry has its weapons, you know, when you switch between, you know, Trickster, Royal Guard, like all that kind of shit. I'm not surprised because I'm fairly sure there is some ex-Capcom pedigree that made that shit that is the- that is responsible for this game now. Final Fantasy fans expect like a party, you know? Final Fantasy fans like- I mean, the, the summons and everything is neat, but Final Fantasy fans expect you to have, like, a group of individuals and to go out and venture the world and shit, right? The, the, everything we've seen of this game so far doesn't seem to have that, <clears throat> right? It seems to have uh, your dude and your power of summons type thing. Not really. I don't know. I mean, I don't... I don't know. I'm fine with it, right? I'm 100% fine if they want to turn Final Fantasy into a Devil May Cry S character action RPG. Fuck me, dude. Sounds great to me, buddy. But for, I mean, a lot of people that are already sort of miffed by the direction that Final Fantasy has been going for the past while, I wonder if, if this is sort of like a make it or break it situation where you don't have your team 
or in your crew, your motley crew of dudes, chicks, individuals, and aliens, and frisky creatures to go around the world together. I know how long you guys have been waiting for this, and it gives me great pleasure to release our trailer dominance. In previous interviews and updates, we didn't delve too deep into details about the game, but hopefully with this preview, you'll be able to get a better picture of what the gameplay will entail. Namely, high-octane battles featuring our protagonist, Clive Rosefield, wielding a full arsenal of attacks unique to the game's many icon summons. Not to mention epic clashes between the icons themselves that put you, that put you right in the action. Well, there's your answer, right? There's, there's your answer. At least, at least as of right now, he's giving the impression that the game is about you playing Clive, right? And Clive will be utilizing the abilities of all the summons in the game in different ways. Very similar to, like, weapons and style changing in Devil May Cry, you know? Uh, the team from Hiroshi Takai has entered final leg of development and is focusing on polish as they continue their march towards uh, master up and launch. I, for one, would like to personally thank them for all the hard work they put into the project. <clears throat> With the power of the PS5 behind us, we're looking to take you on a seamless story-driven white knuckle ride that will rival even the most thrilling roller coasters. So buckle up, the wait is almost over. I mean, we still gotta wait quite a bit. <laughs> we still we still gotta wait quite a bit, Yoshida san. Um First, allow me to, this is from Takai, the director. Allow me to apologize for making everyone wait so long for new information. In our latest trailer, we introduced several new icons as well as provided a more detailed peek at the action system and the freedom it gives players. As the development goes, I'm happy to announce that the game is fully playable from start to finish, although the optimization to brush up there is a mountain of challenges, which is probably why the game was running at 30 FPS, right? Why they rendered the trailer at 30 FPS with some frame drops, right? Uh, it seems like the game's the, the system and uh, the overall engine of the game still is probably one of those things that needs a lot of work to make all things like wrap up, maybe get a consistent frame rate. Who knows? Until then, please stay tuned. We'll do our best not to keep you waiting too long, right? It seems that that might be the case, especially if they are focusing on getting uh, it being a next gen experience only, because this is not coming out on previous gen, right? Final Fantasy 16 is a PS5 game. Landscapes. Oh, screenshots. Oh, shit. Oh, sh shit. Are we, are we getting big environments? Are we not getting like a super linear corridor game? Are we actually getting big environments in this game? It looks like it, dude. Welcome back to the um, God damn. God damn. I thought this was going to be, I mean, at least from the trailer, like a fairly straightforward... Final Fantasy like linear game, but these are some very big environments at least potentially leading it to be like wide linear who knows Yeah, Ryota Suzuki's combat uh, uh, Combat direction has a very interesting pedigree behind it um, DMC 5 Dragon's Dogma and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 <laughs> That is definitely an interesting uh, Assortment of past titles Anyway, it looks great, you know? It, I'm just- I'm just so disappointed that it's- it's that much further out than any of us were anticipating. I was almost thinking that this shit was going to be, uh, predating Forspoken. That we might have- we might actually be playing Final Fantasy 16 before Forspoken. Uh, but funny enough, man, we are- we were much further off from Final Fantasy 16 than- than I thought. What it does lead to is a very exciting first six months of next year, you know? Next year is going to be crazy, like... Potentially a, uh, well we get a new Resident Evil 4 remake, right? We get F Street Fighter 6. We get potentially, unannounced yet, but could be announced at the end of the year, a new NRS game, right? Z Zelda Breath of the, uh, Breath of the Asshole comes out. And this, within like the first six months, you know? There's a lot of shit. There's a- oh, Spider-Man 2 is next year as well, like, god damn. It's a good day. This is definitely a, uh, definitely a very good day to be a fan of these games, man. <laughs>